Hi everyone, uh, this is Antonio, the course coordinator for the Compassion Course Online and I wanted to hop on here um, to just give a little bit more information of how the Organizer Facilitator Track works. What is it? Um, so I want to give you uh, just a few more details here. So uh, give me about uh, three and a half minutes to maybe four and I will do everything and I will give you the whole uh, 360 view of what this is. So, yes, you can form your own Compassion Course group. So maybe you invite a friend, a family member, a colleague. Uh, you form a group with the intention of studying and practicing the Compassion Course together. You know, for years, participants have shared that they've enjoyed doing the course with someone else, and sometimes they even form groups. So we figured we would make it formal and even suggest participants form their own groups. So we really think and and we've heard that a group is a great way to deepen your learning and to grow as a community. Uh, some places to find participants could even include our own Compassion Course community. So if you've taken the Compassion Course, you're eligible for this track and we encourage you to tap into the Facebook group that you're a part of uh, and the online forum. You can you can go in there and ask like if there's anyone interested in joining your group that you're thinking of hosting, you know, at such and such time and date. Uh, please remember, we want everyone in your group to progress as the course progresses. So we just ask that everyone in your group is registered in the course. Um, so just please have them register before registration closes. And as you know, there are many different pricing levels so that no one is ever turned away from registering for the course. Uh, how we're going to be supporting groups, uh, this is really important. If you are the organizer facilitator, you attend monthly one and a half hour conferences. Uh, Tom Bond, the author of the course, uh, will be hosting these conferences. They happen once a month on the third Monday of every month uh, at 12 p.m. New York time. Uh, things that we're going to be doing on these conferences, uh, they include reviewing how your group is going. Uh, we're going to also review important group topics such as agreements, trust, requests versus voting, uh, serving the group, authority, and many more topics. And you can even ask questions like, you know, what do we do when, when I meet as a group? How long should my group meetings be? Uh, what exercises Am I going to practice in my group? So these are just a few ideas of questions that you might want to bring um, to the conference. We're also going to host a forum that's going to be just for organizer facilitators so that you can all support one another on there. Um, and yes, you can make a little money. You know, we really support the idea that since you are the organizer facilitator, you're helping host your group. So it makes sense, we think, to have a fee uh, for people to join your group. You're putting in the effort by putting the group together, by showing up to the monthly conferences with Tom. So we think that that warrants some compensation. And finally, last thing, you know, when your group meets, how often do you meet? At what time and for how long? You know, um, we're going to, you know, and where also like online, in person, location wise also, we're going to leave that up for you to decide. Uh, you can even work with your group to figure out some of these things. Uh, considering our current global situation, you might want to consider meeting through an online platform. And as it turns out, we're going to actually be hosting a live training session led by myself, where you will receive um, all of the guidance on how to effectively use Zoom to host your group. Um, we're going to go all, we're going to review all of the features that Zoom has, especially on how to work with groups. Um, I'll detail um, different things in Zoom, breakout sessions, how to host things like that, um, so that you just have a lot of training on how to use Zoom really well. So, I hope that this was helpful. If you have any other questions, please email us and you can always visit our website, CompassionCourse.org, where you're going to find all this information and a lot more. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day.